Jumping is an essential part of every platformer. The act of jumping is a great way of avoiding obstacles without having any overly complicated way of dealing with obstacles. Dating back to this game and this level, this level 1-1 is responsible for teaching you how to jump. This level is very horizontal with barely any pitfalls. It's easier to transverse without having any punch. However, there are few threats to punish you for your mistakes. Like this little itty bitty Goomba right here is your first teaching tool. If you don't jump over him or on him, you'll most likely die. So right here at this moment, this establishes jumping as your primary tool for the game. And your punishment for missing is losing a life. And now you basically have to start the game with two lives. You're not going to finish this game just now learning how to jump. Because even if you jumped by accident, like maybe you were playing around with the controls and you jumped by accident, and then you actually got over the Goomba, next thing you know, you find out that there's a pipe in your way. How are you supposed to get over that without having to jump and move at the same time? And this pipe and these pipes over here also teach you another tool right before you get to the main part of the level, the pits. It could potentially teach you how to jump over certain obstacles. But that's only if you know how to run and jump at the same time, which is another thing that I should talk about in another video. But even if you don't figure out how to run and jump now, you'll soon learn how to jump over objects when you get to this. Even after you overcome this problem, you still have to deal with more and more pits. You deal with this pit and that pit and this pit and that pit, but even after that, this level is directly teaching you how to jump over certain types of obstacles. Dealing with these structures prepare you for the rest of the game. When I was a child, this part tripped me up so many times. You'll keep modifying your jump at this point until you reach over it. Did at the end of the level is the final teaching tool. Climbing this huge structure is your final test. You could take a stab at getting on the top of the flagpole. You'll have a lot of chances at this, but it's a great challenge at the end of the level. It wraps up the whole journey for your platforming for that specific level. It's one final challenge at the end of every level. Personally for me, I'm more interested in the gimmicks at the end of a level. Like it shows like kind of like a story. But the normal way is the way how every level ends in Super Mario Brothers. But all in all, this is the level. Jumping, jumping, and more jumping. Thanks guys for watching all the way to the end. Like and subscribe. I want to create a discussion in the comment section about how did you guys feel about this level or thoughts on the level. I'll definitely reply since I have a little bit of subscribers and no life. But still, help me out.